All right. Well, it was a scene filled with crowded counters and dazed faces as hundreds of persons were left stranded after several flights were cancelled at both our airports in light of Hurricane Irma. We're checking in now and we're pretty sure that this is a solid check-in. We're not going back home. Mm -hmm. um, with Delana Sivright, Senior Advisor and Strategist to the Tourism Minister, Edmund Bartlett, who's here to update us on what's been going on. Good morning to you. Thank you for being here. Morning, morning, morning guys. Um, I don't say that you guys can't seem to age at all. And no. we think you should be booked very often. <laughs> yeah. so, yeah. Sit down for the rest of us. We don't need yet. I'm not next to that. Happy to have you, man. Happy to have you. Good yes. for Eagle. Mm -hmm. um, how are we doing after... Hurricane Irma did her tricks the other day. Uh, the storm came. Yeah. Well, the bands, outer, outer, outer yes. bands came. We got some rain. Yeah. Lightning nick out the radar system. <laughs> um, well, we had two big problems last week. Well, certainly, it was Friday, the Friday, the last Friday, um, where we had the lightning strike that knocked out our communication system to the air traffic control. Um, so that put the system down. And then you had Hurricane Irma impacting the Northern Caribbean and Florida. And that led to over 14,000 flight cancellations just out of Florida alone. 14,000. 14,000 flights canceled out of Florida alone. And that's a big impact on us. So what we had a double whammy where you had a lightning strike, so our system was, was down. Perfect storm. But you also had Hurricane Irma impacting Florida, which meant we had many flight cancellations. And we have about 14 to 16 flights per day between Jamaica and Florida. It's our most important destination, per se. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people, as you know, connect through Miami and Fort Lauderdale to other destinations. Mm -hmm. So we, we, the entire system was down, certainly for Friday, going straight through to Tuesday. And then Miami Airport is just now coming back to 100% um, scheduled service. Fort Lauderdale came back up last week, a little earlier, thankfully. Just in time for Maria. Um, yeah, but we had about 60-plus <laughs> cancelled flights out of Florida alone since mm -hmm. that Friday mm -hmm. coming in. So it's, it has had an impact. How bad was it? Because um, I heard the, the head of the JHTA, um, he yeah. was on Beyond the Headlines last week, and he was saying it's, it's pretty bad. Um, uh, it lots of customers yes. were very, very upset. And oh, this yes. is more about the, the radar, the data center that was hit yes. than the yes. actual yes. storm. Well, well, let me first congratulate the guys at the Jamaica Civil Aviation Authority because they worked 24-7, literally. Incredible. They're incredible. They literally work 24-7 to get the systems back up to some reasonable normality, as it is now. Mm -hmm. uh, but nonetheless, the, the impact was, was, was certainly um, tough for us. It primarily affected our European flights. I mean, we were able to get other flights out eventually. So that was quickly fixed over that weekend. Sunday, Monday at the time, it was, we, we, we got back to some level of normality. But our European flights were badly affected because the system was down at night on mm -hmm. that weekend. So mm -hmm. our flights out of Germany. Mm -hmm. And people don't even know this now. We have flights from Germany, Portugal, Spain, the Netherlands, and Italy coming into Montego Bay every week. You know? Okay. A lot of people aren't even aware of this. Okay. And those flights got impacted. They had to land in Dominican Republic, and we had to make some arrangements. Nonetheless, the system is now normalized again, yeah. and we're back up and running. Is it true that there are two carriers who are looking to pull their service from Jamaica um, as a result no, of what happened? No, they, 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 they never ever said to us that they wanted to pull their service at all. Um, what they said, that they were upset. They were like, you know, we have 300 plus passengers on a plane coming in from Spain or from Italy. And there's nowhere to land and we have to go into the Dominican Republic. It's mm -hmm. inconveniencing and costs them, it costs them thousands of US dollars just yeah. to, 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 to reorient their schedule. Uh, but nonetheless, they are committed to Jamaica. We have been in touch with them. The Jamaica Tourist Board has been in touch with them and they are committed to Jamaica and we're working with the JCAA to ensure that the scheduling and the information sharing happens at a real pace as much as possible. Yeah. Yeah. I suspect we would have lost many of millions of dollars because they didn't come in, but mm -hmm. did JTB have to go in your pocket to pay anything because of um, any of these problems? No, and, and, and I think also we should highlight that September and October tend to be the, the least busy months of the year. But what has happened is that we have been growing. Tourism has been doing pretty well. Yeah. I mean, you know, Minister Bartlett has been quite passionate about driving the product very aggressively. And that's why he's not even here now. He's driving the product now in the US and Canada for the coming week and a half. And we're going to also get an opportunity to meet with the airlines uh, starting today with Delta in Atlanta. When does the winter so that's good. season start? It starts December 15, goes to April okay. 15. Okay. Uh, but the summer was great. We had 16% growth in stopover arrivals last month alone. We had 10% in July. And the first week of September, we had a 10% increase in stopover arrivals. And then Hurricane Irma mm -hmm. came. Then we had the lightning strike. 
So we're down certainly for now in September. So it's a good that it was good that we were ahead of, of schedule. Yes. Because then that helps to kind of backfill the numbers. It helps lost. to backfill the numbers yeah. and we expect November and December to be really roaring. I mean our hotels are gonna fill up pretty fast. Uh, so you need to make a booking from early. Yeah. Yeah. You mentioned <laughs> relative normality, I think, is what yes. you said. What about the air traffic controllers? All in, all in place? Back well, up, full? We, we are in touch with the Jamaica Civil Aviation Authority on an almost daily basis. Well, daily, if not hourly. I yeah. think we annoy them every day. Yeah. <laughs> and um, they have managed to keep the system up and running so far. There are a couple of hours when it's down from time to time, but we have a very clear idea as to what is happening. The air traffic controllers have also been very kind, and they have been offering their services, of course, they have their rules and their regulations that they have to abide by in terms of time and that sort of thing. Right. But nonetheless, we're cool on that side. The aviation inspectors, as you know, there was some industrial mm -hmm. action on the yeah. part of the aviation inspectors. That will not and cannot affect the flights that come in and out of Jamaica. But they are working to resolve that as quickly as possible. Working. So when yeah. they win, get back 100%? Hopefully this week. I think, I think I, I hear there's a breakthrough very is imminent. So okay. let us see how that plays out. But the flights are operating for the most part. So, mm -hmm. so do the do the does the JCA now get what it's been asking for for years? Mm -hmm. Because, um, really and truly, those gentlemen and women have been turning mm -hmm. them on, making fashion with some mm -hmm. very obsolete equipment. Yes, yes. Um, we really have to take our hats mm -hmm. off to them because yeah. they've been asking for new equipment yeah. for a long time. So, how do we? behave now proactively to ensure well, that this does not well, ever give, happen again. Yeah, well, that, good question. Let me give Minister Mike Henry credit and, and the JCAA board credit because they have invested, they're going to push in over $3.5 billion into the new systems. A lot of it is already here. Uh, the air traffic controllers are being trained to go on this new system and that's part of the issues that we're having today. They have to be trained mm -hmm. to actually utilize the system. And that's a work in progress. I'm, I'm told in the next couple of weeks we will be on the new system. Uh, but we also have to ensure that we have our backup systems working. Yeah, so that's a part of the issue is the new system was being the, implemented. Yeah, that was being implemented, stroke. and yeah. that is more resistant to lightning strikes than the old system Correct. because it's fiber optics and so on, rather than just the mm -hmm. standard yeah, metal and so on. So okay. that's where we are. But we are confident that we're moving in the right direction what now. What are they saying about Maria? Are we going to go through this again? What are so they saying about we Maria? are now watching Hurricane Maria, which is now going to affect the Leeward Islands, I mm -hmm. believe, later yeah. tonight. Mm -hmm. um, and the forecast track has it going uh, St. Martin, Puerto Rico, Dominican Republic, and possibly into Florida or so the veering most after we the, should get is some rain. The uh, most uh, we don't know. I'm not a meteorologist. <laughs> I don't know, <laughs> but. Uh, we are watching it because we're concerned. I mean, the Northern Caribbean has taken a battery that we have had to go to the market to tell our travel agents or our tour operators through the Jamaica Tourist Board that Jamaica is open for business mm -hmm. because there's a perception that the entire Caribbean has yeah. been oh. battered by hurricanes. Wow. Uh, and with Hurricane Maria coming out, it doesn't help the no. situation. No. So we have to go out there and say, hey, Jamaica is open for business. We were not battered by the storm. Some people tend to group Jamaica and the Caribbean in one big circle and think it's one of the same. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, good to see you. Thanks yes. for bringing us up to date. Yes. And, and I remember to call the airlines ahead uh, before yeah. you go to the airport. That's right. my advice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's important right. advice. Yeah. So go out there and stand up. Let's call advice. ahead. Yeah. And Delano yeah. Seavright, Senior yeah. Advisor and Strategist to the Tourism Minister, um, Edmund Barclay. All right, folks, stay with us. We've got the legendary Ernie Smith on standby. We'll be right back with him. And who is who? That cat is me. That cat is you.